In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a new outlet that has USB charging built right in. You can swap out your old outlets for these new USB charging outlets. But first, hit the subscribe button, click the bell, turn on notifications so that you get notified next time a new video comes out. So let's go get changed and show you how to install a new USB charging outlet. Come on. So the other day, I was working in the front room and something happened that made me think, time to make another video. See if you can relate to this. Dad. 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 What? I need a charging block. My phone's almost dead. My phone is dead. So I went online and actually found these USB charging outlets. You can replace a regular outlet anywhere you want to be able to charge something that uses USB charging. So I've got these. I'm going to show you the tools and the process to replace an old outlet with these new USB charging outlets. So come on. So when my kids came in asking where the charging block was, this is the outlet that they pointed out to me where they wished that they could sit and charge. So we're going to be replacing this outlet with this new outlet that has USB charging built in. But as all of our other electrical videos, safety first, we want to make sure that the power is off before we start working on this. So I have a tester that I plug in, light comes on, indicates that there's power. I'm going to go run and shut the breaker off. So remove the cover plate by removing that center screw. We're going to remove these two screws that hold it into the box. So we want to double check, make sure that the power is off. If the power was still on, this would be flashing and beeping. If you want, you can unscrew these screws and straighten these wires out, but I've got plenty of length here, so I'm just going to clip these off and make new connections. You can see the back of this USB outlet looks different than a regular outlet, but you've got the same color terminals. Black's going to go here, neutral's going to go here, ground's going to go there. So you can make a hook, but this is designed to strip the wire this amount. It's got a stripping gauge on the back and the wire is going to slide into the back of the outlet. And then you tighten the screw down. So next you want to strip the wires back half to three quarters of an inch. And then you want to make a hook with the ground. So we're going to take our ground wire loop it around the ground screw. You're going to tighten down snug. And then on the back, you'll see white and hot. So your white wire is going to go down in that hole and you're going to take your screwdriver and you're going to tighten it. And it will, with a compression fitting, it'll compress that white wire in there and then pull on it. Make sure that you actually got the good connection. That's not coming out. And we're going to do the same thing with the hot wire. Poke it in. Take our screwdriver. Tighten that up. Again, double check the connections. Make sure they're not coming out. Stick the outlet back in the wall. Take your screws and then tighten it down. With the new outlet cover, take the screws that come with it to screw it into the outlet cover. Top one and bottom one. So now we'll go turn the power back on, see if we wired it up right. Well, there you have it. It wasn't actually that hard. It definitely not any harder than replacing an outlet. Um, I found these outlets on Amazon. They come in different configuration. This one has still two plugs and two USB ports in them. I've seen some that only have USB ports in them. Uh, anyway, I plugged this one in, I tested it. I was able to charge multiple devices, an iPad and a phone at the same time. I had some headphones that I was charging. Um, I was worried that the transformer inside, since they weren't that expensive, I was worried that the transformer was gonna be really loud and make a buzzing noise but I don't hear any of that. And I've had some others installed around the house for a while and they're still going strong. The kids love them. Anyway, it's just a really solid, 
thing to install. So if you've got places you want to charge things around the house, consider installing one of these USB charging outlets. Thanks so much for watching. If there's anything else you want to know about your plumbing, electrical, heating or cooling system or videos you want us to make, leave a comment below. Don't forget us to get don't forget to give us a thumbs up and thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I think there's a spinny wheel right over there. Anyway, thanks. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> you just took my line. So <laughs> There'll be a lot of bloopers with this. You think your YouTubers that you watch just like one take it all? Mm-mm. Yoga and replacing outlets. <laughs>